hello guys welcome to my youtube channel this is joy abzo today i'm going to be teaching you a method on how to transfer files from your phone to your pc and vice versa using zender so without talking much let's get started if you're new here hit on the subscribe button to subscribe it's free of charge so that you get notified whenever i release a new video so with zender we know you transfer files from phone to phone at a very high speed whether android to iphone or any kind of phones that you want to transfer and it's very fast it's the same thing with the pc version of zender and with this you don't need to download and install any software on your machine as far as the zender is concerned so to do it with the latest version at first at first it used to be it used to vary on various phones but now it's almost the same method so to do just click on the plus icon that's on the latest zender so if your zender is not looking this way i'll advise you update your zender so when you click on connect to pc it brings you to this page and the first step is for you to own your mobile hotspot or your phone's hotspot So if your hotspot is not set, you've not set up a password for your hotspot, I will advise you do that. And when you now come on your PC, you connect to that Wi-Fi, whether you have data or not. So you click connect to it and you open your browser on the PC. As I said initially, you don't need to install any software. So just to show you what happened. So you see step three on your phone below, a web page is given. That dot one six eight dot four three dot one is to three three four five five. So there's when you do it, you click on accept on the phone. And will ask you to confirm that no data is used in the transfer. So you just click OK on the phone and confirm on the PC. So to transfer files to the PC, if it's a picture, you can just scroll to wherever it is and click on the picture. And it will view on your screen, full screen, full size. And you scroll, you swipe it up. And it downloads for you so the picture has been downloaded here as you can see you can do that to several pictures so whenever you just click on it you scroll across and as you can see them appearing on my screen and you just swipe up to download that is transferring a picture There are options on the transfer. You can view it anyway, whichever folder you have it. And uh, to transfer from the phone to the PC still, if it's a picture that or a file that is not there, if it's a video, you come on the screen. There are various options. We have pictures, videos, so songs, documents. You can navigate the folder and your apps. So for videos, you just click on the icon then you wait for your videos to load i seem to have problem with my this and my phone's connection right now but your videos will load here and you download them and you go back home you have the songs here so all your songs are listed you can play before you download after i've turned on my 
the sound of my PC. That's why you're not able to hear. But you can play the music as you can. And you go through them. And download is just simple. You just click here to download. And to download for you at a very high speed. Another way is also to go here and navigate to whichever place that you want to. So as you can see, I, I, you can download multiple times. So you just click on them. So to download multiple times, you just click on Control and mark those you want to download. So you just mark them and come to download. And it will download for you in a zip format. As you can see, completed. All those files were downloaded in some seconds. You can navigate through to whichever place you want to. And your apps, in case you want to back them up on the PC, is the same thing you can do here. You have the images here that you can view, likewise, you did on the phone. And we have the address. So to now transfer from PC to phone, you go to whichever folder that you are working with. So I simply go to my downloads folder. And be it picture or anything that you are to transfer, you can just click on it, drag it onto your PC. So drag and drop, it simply works and you can see it's transferred to my phone. Other way for specific files is when you come to video, you go to upload video. And you search to where videos are. So for instance, I have some videos here. I just, you just click on it and upload. And you can see it's being transferred to my phone. And that's for the videos. You can go to songs, upload songs. It's the same thing. Batch download. You can delete. You can refresh. Likewise for documents. So with documents, PDFs do not appear here. If you check, PDFs do not appear. So for PDFs, you just go to file and go to whichever folder it is located. So as you can see, PDFs are here and you click to download them. So this wasn't a PDF, it was a different file, but PDFs, whichever location you have it, you specify it and go there and download it. And you can check the connection mood, the music panel, the song that you were playing. So you can play the music as you are checking the others. So it's just a cool thing to do and log out here. So you can try it out. It's very fast in transferring files. I promise that you can transfer uh, files worth gigabytes in some few in just a minute or two. And it's very efficient because you don't have to use any cable that it will be disconnected at any time. But you just need your phone's hotspot and the PC ability to connect to Wi-Fi. So I think this video I explained things well. Kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe if not done so. And also share this video for to help me. And if you have any question, leave it in the comment section. I'll be glad to help you out. See you in my next video. Till then, it's bye.